Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, I look rough. Oh dear. Vlogmas is hitting me hard. But we're almost there. It is day 19. Day 9. Day 19. Day 19? Day 19. Day 19. Day 19. Day 19. <laughs> it is day 19 of Vlogmas. Which means that I only have like five more days to go. Four more days. Six more days. Five more. Five, I'm just so bad at dates and numbers and maths. It's such a Joe's Vlogmas. But remember, he's not a daily Vlogmas. But it is the next day. The tree. The lights on the tree. Can we put these on? Byron, if you're watching the vlogs, this is the switch to turn the Christmas lights on. Because you obviously, you guys should know as well, you should not leave Christmas lights on when you're not in the house. I think. I heard a rumour. Well, on the streets, you can't do it. Cause apparently, it's dangerous. So, I know what you're thinking. Joe, what's the plan for today? Well, I'll tell you. I am heading back down to the West Country again. I think I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, but if I didn't, I'm telling you again now. I'm heading back down to Wiltshire to see Alfie. Me and Alfie are going Christmas shopping together later on. And then the day after that, having a pre Christmas. Now, my parents, like, Many parents nowadays aren't together anymore, which means when it comes to Christmas time, you're all over the place. So tomorrow is Christmas with my mum and her side of the family. And then I think the day after, I'm having another Christmas with my dad, Zoe and Alfie, and my dad's side of the family. And then I'm having another Christmas with my dad and that side of the family on actual Christmas day. And then halfway through that day, I'm driving up to Brighton to go and see my sister, Alfie, and Alfie's side of the family. So I need to be in Brighton for Boxing Day because as you know, guys, on Boxing Day, I am off to South Africa for the third year in a row. I'm off to get some sun. As you can see from my face right now, I need some sun big time. I'm one of those people that I just need, I need vitamin D in my life. Last night I spent way too long creating a playlist. Um, if you didn't know already, I have a Spotify account. If you didn't know what it was, it's Joe Sug Spotify, all one word. Whenever I go on holiday or anywhere like that, I always have to make any, any songs that I listen to whilst on that holiday, I always put in a playlist. Because I love having playlists that remind me of places that I've been and visited. If you already follow me on Spotify, you'll know I had a South Africa playlist for last year. But this year I've made another one. And this is it. South Africa 2.3. You're probably thinking, Joe, why'd you call it 2.3? Why not 3? And I'll tell you why. So the first year that I went to South Africa, I didn't actually make a playlist. So the second year I went, I had one called South Africa. So I was like, well, it's my third time going there. Third New Year's in a row. If I call it South Africa 2, it means that it people might think that's the second year that I went. Which it wasn't, because there's already a playlist for that year. Basically, I don't know why. I just called it South Africa 2.3. Don't judge me, alright? It's my vlog. I'll do what I want. Oh, sorry. Let me carry on. It's like a fanfare for a king. <laughs> Almost feels like the army as well. Can you see that I've started to like lose the plot a little bit with this? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, this is old news. <laughs> it kind of feels like the military. If you had to blow the, the army, <laughs> if you were an army corporate and you blew that, I don't know if it's freaking. You have to get out of bed straight away. Yeah, start doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you regret that, look. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't made for this laugh. You're not made for the army, dude. Tell you what I'm made for, though. Breakfast. What are we thinking, bro? Magic. Freaking. Back on. Oh, no. Bread. 15th of December. But I've only just opened it. So is that alright? Or. Could it be magic bread? Magic bread! No. Here we go. Come on. Probably the last time I do it this year. Magic. B. Oh, he's done it. Turns out it was the good stuff, Byron. Oh, yeah. Here's yours, Byron. Oh, there thanks, you go. bro. After last night, you know, I thought you might want another, want another one. Thank you. How did Magic Bacon turn into Kai <laughs> Queen Kai? Who? Okay. It's my attempt to jump in here. <laughs> Oh dear indeed. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm boiling. It's actually really warm today. I've just been down to collect some parcels. Three big boxes, well, two big boxes, and uh, an ASOS number. Now, I just want to point out, I haven't actually ordered any ASOS clothes. This has come from my sister. Now, I let my sister go onto my ASOS account and order me a lot of clothes. And when I talk a lot of clothes, I mean a lot. The bill came through, how much it was, and uh, I still paid for it. She went on there and ordered a load of clothes, but not for Christmas, not for the winter period, but for my South African holiday. If you didn't know already, if I haven't mentioned it enough times today, I am going to South Africa on the 26th of December. Very, very excited. And of course, over there, it's their summer. So I said, you know what? I haven't really got any summery clothes. Well, I have. This whole wardrobe is full of clothes. But I said, Zoe, can you do me a favor? Can you go onto my ASOS and just order me whatever? Like, things that you think 
thing that I would like for holiday. Now, I've seen that she's done this for Alfie in the past. Now, it's my turn. I wonder what she's picked me. There was three boxes. I opened up one already, and it's just full of Zoe's stuff. Like, this is this is Zoella's stuff. I can't take this on holiday with me, Zoe. I don't, although that, ooh, cozy Christmas candle. Yes, please. But we have these. We have an ASOS box full. And one of these. I'm gonna start off with this right here. Let's find out what she's chosen for me to wear for my holiday. Do you know what though? I would I should I feel like I should be worried, but realistically I'm not because I always find that my sister has quite good uh good fashion sense for like guys. Even when I was younger, she used to help me pick what to wear for stuff. So Right, let's find out what we got. First up. Ooh, skinny shorts. This feels really weird for me. I feel like I'm doing an actual like an actual haul. Oh, okay. Some like light sort of fabric kind of shorts right there that'd be nice for wearing in the evenings out in South Africa like for me shorts are very difficult I've got incredibly incredibly skinny legs usually wearing shorts unless they're like back in the day when you used to get away with wearing baggy shorts they look quite ridiculous on me but I do like these kind of shorts these kind of like um what they call it sweat sweatpants shorts they're a lot better for me we've got some tracksuit bottoms so I'm going to South Africa I'm not going to Antarctica I'm going to South Africa although these are very cool these remember the ones I had recently sent to me by that menace company but these are cool these would be good for the plane I reckon I'm gonna wear these on the plane thank you very much much, Zoe. I'm saying thank you to Zoe. I'm saying I should be saying thank you to myself. I'm the one that paid for it all. We've got some jeans, some black jeans, as that is pretty much all I wear. Black jeans or like light blue jeans. These are just normal jeans. They're normal jeans, Zoe. I have so many pairs of these. Well, they'll be okay. This is great. I'll wear these for like nights, for like, I guess like evenings out. Well, they look quite wide. But then that is like the kind of thing now, isn't it? I feel like skinny jeans are slowly going out of out of fashion. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. If skinny jeans are going out of fashion, I'll be quite grateful because, like I said before, I've got very, very skinny legs. So that'd be ideal. Okay, we've got a green, a green jumper. Oh, okay, it's got a pit, massive pitch on the back. That's nice. I will, I will, I will pack that. That'd be a nice little evening jumper to wear. Lovely. More tracksuit bottoms. These ones are a bit more sporty. So I think Zoe doesn't realise how hot it's going to be here in South Africa. So far, it's all stuff that's winter. And obviously, I know that on the ASOS website, it's majority obviously it follows the seasons, doesn't it? So it's going to be all like wintry stuff. But they're quite cool actually. I quite like those. They're very Marcus Butler. Although I'm sure his are a lot more expensive than the ones from ASOS. Next up, we've got another pair of freaking jeans. Oh, cheap Monday jeans i actually really like me and byron actually went to cheap monday the other day and uh we were we were actually complimenting their jeans saying how good they are it's a very south african color but yeah more more jeans so so far i've had one pair of shorts and the rest is all pretty much winter clothing so you had one job right change the camera angle slightly we're going from this approach we've also been given a giant box keys keys please louise it feels like christmas Beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Oh, this is more summery. Okay, maybe that was a winter box, but this looks more like a summer box. I've seen the word fedora hat. This could be interesting. Right, we've got... Oh, wow, we've got a lot of stuff in here. We have this salmon-y colour t-shirt, but it's like textured. Got a kind of like a uh, tea towel kind of effect going on. You know the feel of a tea towel? Oh, it comes with crepe paper. Ooh, that's unusual. It's like a long sleeve top. The sleeves are like normal fabric and the middle bit's like tea towel-y. But I do quite like that. That'd be, that's quite nice. That'll go down well. I can get, that's going straight in the suitcase. Good job, Zoe. Next up, oh, we've got the holiday shirts. This is what it's all about. The holiday shirts are in. Start cracking open the beers. The holiday shirts are here. I really like that. That is going to be a big, a big number in South Africa. That's very much like your kind of your holiday shirt from New Look as well. New Look Men. I really like that. Thank you very much. Next up. Oh, oh my God. We've actually got a lot. There's a lot in this box. Okay, we've got another one. We have here another. This one's from. Oh, this is just ASOS's own. Another holiday shirt. Oh, so like a long sleeve one. I do like that. I like that too. That's quite nice. It need, it need a good old steam before I uh, take it for a spin. But that is very nice. Thank you, Zoe. Oh. What's this? Another one. It's like a holiday shirt for every day. Every day I'm out there. Oh, it's another short. I do you know. I do like the short sleeves ones. I must put. I may prefer the short sleeves to the long sleeves. Once again, another, another cracker there. Another little cheeky holiday shirt. One for the evenings. That a nice little dark shirt. Avoid sweat patches. You know the drill. I think I do prefer the red one the most. But then that's a strong second. Next up, we've got ooh swim shorts. Good thinking, Zoe. Hey, these are interesting. I, mean, I do quite like them. They're, they're different. They're not just your standard plain colour, and that's what he's doing. He's doing to jazz it up a little bit. That's quite cool. I do like those. They're very South Africa. Success. There's not even anything so far. Touch cardboard. I massively dislike and think should be sent back. Because obviously ASOS, they got very, very good. This is not This is not branded, by the way. But he should be. But it's not branded. Ooh, I like this as well. That's cool. It's quite a 70s kind of vibe. Yeah. I do like that. 
He's only a girl steam there. Lovely. Thanks, Zoe. Yeah, there's, um, they've got a very good returns policy. Like, something doesn't fit whatever. It's very easy to send it back to them. One of the reasons why I love ASOS. But, I mean, this, this is just not practical. Unless, although, saying that, even though it is summer out there, do you know they do actually have very strong winds where we're staying? Okay, a big chunky knit. Do you know what? So, I think you just put that in there for the lols. But, I'm going to generally wear that today. I'm going to wear that now, as it's very cold outside in the UK. That's a very nice chunky knit jumper. I'm going to wear that today instead. Sorry. Oh my god, she's bought... What, what have you done? What the bloody hell is this? Zoe? She's taking the mick. What the f*** is this? Is she having a laugh? It's like a hot dog, like, chunky knit... It's got no armholes in it. She's seriously having me on here. What the freaking hell is this? You've wasted my money on this, Zoe. Why would you do this to me? So this is what fashion's come down to, is it? A freaking hot dog costume, made knitted. Like, what even? It's not even got armholes. If it had armholes, then I'd, I'd probably wear it for, for the lols, but no. <sighs> I can't, I give up. Do you know what, Zoe? You are doing so well until that point. Sisters, I've been pranked. Never give your sister your car details, guys. Or anyone. That's a cool... Grey t-shirt. Little floaty grey number there. Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much. Here we go. We've got some hats. Oh, God. I saw this and I got worried. I was like, what the hell? Some sort of weird... Like, this is not going to work, Zoe. I mean, it'll keep the rain off your head, but turns out it's just packaging for this hat. I actually... Re oh, this is a very nice hat. I'm going to keep that plastic thing there just in case. Although it doesn't... Oh, no. It doesn't really fit my... It doesn't... Oh, no. It doesn't fit my head very well. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. It's a little bit too much of a smart posh hat for, like, going out, I feel like. I don't know if I can get away with that. I need to rough it up a little bit, then it will fit my head better. <laughs> Moving on, we've got what looks like a Halloween t-shirt. Surprise me, please. Okay. We've got this stripy uh, pumpkin t-shirt, I'm going to call it. It's quite nice. That that might make the cut. Might make the cut. But yeah, we're still going. We've got, oh, uh, it looks like shorts. It is shorts. Yep. I'm pretty sure I've already got these. But thanks anyway, Zoe. It's good to have doubles of everything, I, I guess. I think there's literally three pairs of shorts. All of which, wait, these are the same shorts? So you've literally ordered... Two pairs of the exact same shorts. What are you playing at? Oh, well, it's good to have everything in threes. Then here we've got some, ah, uh, okay, these are good. I do actually need some more jean shorts. Nice little pair of jean shorts there. I've been using them a lot for nights out, I can imagine, like evenings out and stuff. Gonna roll up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. Well redeemed, Zoe. We've got another fedora here. Fedora the Explorer. This is more holiday. Floppy hat Philip, they're gonna call me. Hey, look, look at that. Like what, what, what the hell is this? How does anyone know how to like stiffen it out? Let me know if you know how to sort out these kind of hats in the comments below. How to stiffen your fedora. Maybe don't actually Google that. I think it's gonna be the holiday hat. Lovely, thank you very much. And then lastly, I think a pair of sunglasses and a pair of like clear lens glasses. Hopefully these aren't broken. Oh, these are cool. These are nice. Really like these. They're like round glasses with what looks like gold on the sides look. Yeah. Big fan of these. She knows her accessories, does our Zoe. Let's all place a bet now on how long I'll have them for before I lose them. I reckon I'll lose them on the second day in South Africa. No joke. I, d I mean, I don't want to. I really like them. But I'm just the worst at keeping tabs on where my sunglasses actually are. And then lastly, my sister got me, essentially, the exact same pair of sunglasses, but with clear lenses. That means people are going to think I've got that thing where, you know those sunglasses you can get which go clear when you're inside and turn to sunglasses when you're outside? What are those called again? It was the only thing I got a pair of those on. Hang on, let me switch. Oh, these are actually UV protection as well. So they're clear glasses, but also UV protection. Is that a normal thing? Yeah. Yeah, I like these. I'll, I'll try to tell you what, I need a tan big time. <laughs> Lovely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was my ASOS holiday haul, courtesy of my sister. Zoe. Now I'm actually seeing Zoe later on, so I'm going to quiz her about this hot dog costume and various other items. But overall, I think she's done a good job. There's a few things in there that I wouldn't even think twice about getting. Not in a bad way, but just in like a kind of, you know, it's just not what I normally go for. But it's good to try new things, so thanks Zoe. I mean, give me a big old dent in my bank account, but hey, it's all part of the fun. Bye bye! Enjoy. See you in a bit. What do you think of this jumper? It's a pretty sweet jumper. Did you get that today? Zo Zoella bought it. Well, I say Zoella bought it for me. She didn't. She's my money to to buy it for me. Bear in mind, I told her I'm going on holiday to South Africa. <laughs> she gets windy. She got me down. Well, that's that's the thing. It does get windy, so it could actually come in handy. You're right. Yeah, you'll need it for the evenings. I'm off. I'm back. I'm back soon though. So I um, come back this tanned from Cape Town, by the way. Huh? And I was, I, I thought it was a fist bump. It was an ET. Oh yeah. It was an ET phone home. Beep. Little red, little red light glow on that. Beep. Drops when I'm away. Make yeah. sure plants don't die. Plants don't die. Christmas tree doesn't die. Christmas tree doesn't die. Lights don't break. Make sure to turn the lights off when you're not here. Yes. And make sure to feed the dog.
Yeah. I've secretly bought a dog and I've hidden it somewhere in this apartment. So you've got to make sure it's fed. Really? Yeah, it only likes mince pies. I bought a reindeer. <laughs> where the bloody hell am I? And who the hell? Oh, Alfie. Hello, mate. How? Where are we? We're back in, we're back in your homeland. Don't tell me this is a new office. Another, another office. Oh. Alfie, where, where have you gone, Alfie? I can't see you. <laughs> Get a pleasure on it. These are one of my, these are my favourite oh, yeah, biscuits. These are so good. The thing is, you can't just have one. That's why I've taken two. You can't just have one of these biscuits. What are they? Fruit shortcakes. Yeah. Oh, get inside me. Where are we off to, Alfie? Off to go and have a bath together. Yeah, we're going to bath. You know it's Vlogmas when I see Alfie twice in a week in Wiltshire. <laughs> That's you know it's Vlogmas. It's, only, it's a once a year thing. And we're off to bath at 10 past, 10 past 4, which is probably the worst time to go into bath. If we can find a parking space. And you've got a big car with Yeah, you. and uh, this, this, ba this baby right here, she's beautiful, but she's wide. She got that fat ass. And she's dirty. She's a dirty, thick ass. <laughs> Beauty. I'm gonna have to try and find a car wash, hopefully. They do actually have car washes there. We'll do that. I've got to get presents for my nan, granddad, and mum. <laughs> then I'm pretty much done though. Then I'm pretty much done though. You're done though! This little apartment's bloody lovely. In Alfie's vlog, we went up there and had a look up there. An amazing bedroom. Got your kitchen area here. You've got the chokey for when people are naughty. And then you've got the vlogger himself, Alfie Days. Bloody hell. Imagine. Can we get going? Yeah, let's go. Oh, there you go, Alfie. You don't get sunsets like that anywhere else. Not in Brighton. Oh no, that's a proper West Country sunset that is. This absolute legend, car, the car wash annoyingly is closed. <laughs> but the bloke just let us, we said, Alfie actually did a bit of bargaining with him, didn't you? He said, oh please, pretty please, can we park oh, here? Oh man. And he's actually let us, so hooray. Here we have an actual daily vlogger doing his daily vlogs. Mate, you're committed to it, aren't you? I don't know how you do it, I'm really struggling. We're in the Apple store. We've got the main man himself on the screen. Why are you getting embarrassed, Alfie? Come back. I need to get something for my nan, Alfie. I'll meet you in the, meet you in oh, the, the other shop. See you later. As you can see from the, like two vlogs ago now, was it a vlog ago or two vlogs, I can't remember. Walking back through the streets of Bath, it was empty. Now it's a lot more busy. And a lot more, oh, there's a Christmas market, I think, still as well. Boy, we can get brats first. Oh, Alfie's treated me to dinner. Cool, I like you more my sister at this rate. Jesus. Well, we finished up in the old Nando's. Thanks, Alfie, you legend. I've done my Christmas shopping. I'm all set now. I think I'm pretty much now done for Christmas. And it's the, what, 19th today? 18th? 18th. It's 18th, but 19th day of Vlogmas. Um, and I've done it all. Normally, this, this never happens. Never happens. I'm never, ever, ever gonna get bored of recording this car. If I ever had a dog or a child, I'd, I would just, de I'd devote, yeah. I just don't, oh, do you know what I've realised? Yeah, put it in here, Boot space, yeah. My bag's already in there, my main no, bag. Yes, it is. This could be interesting, guys. Here we go. Oh, blooming it. Oh. Why have you got such a big bag with you? Because I'm down here for quite a while. Oh, no. Right, hang about. <laughs> this is going to be an issue. <laughs> I've got my Joan Malone bag, bloody. Do you know what? It might all fit in. I think it's going to fit. These boots, us. they're deceptive. Oh no, this big, this big Yeah, fella. that's got in there, that's in there. Nah, mate, look. That's in there. Nah, that's, that's there. never gonna that happen. Is, look, watch, close that's this. That's never going to happen. Then the shoes. Yeah, I'll put the shoes down by me. Oh, mate, this is not, it's gonna crush the bag. Oh well. Oh, 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 oh. It's not having any of it. It's gonna work. Is it hey. done? I hope that stays down. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't flap up whilst we're driving. Wait, the good thing is that we got the car cleaned. It's definitely not still incredibly dirty. The better thing is, listen to how loud it is when I start it up in this car park. <laughs> cool, Alfie, you bought me a drink. You got me a hip flask. Mate, that would last prees, that's it. Have you gone through that? Easy days. Was it full of whiskey? Oh, that sounds like whiskey. Do I know how to do it? Alfie's asked me if I've ever done a log fire before. Before? Before! before. Alfie's asked me if I've ever done a log fire before. But, oh. If there's two things I know how to do, one is Airbnbs, two is log fires. Flashback. <laughs> Good, well, let's go in for it. Almost like, ah. Oh. <gasps> yes! Yes! See, told you, I know how to do them. What the hell is that? Log fire drunk. What is it? What is it? 
Drunk, drunk goggles. Have you ever tried these? No. Yes, you have. I've never tried drunk goggles before. Actually, maybe I have, yeah. That's such a classic Alfie thing to bring so it back. Really lets you being drunk. Have you not tried them? This is going to save me from actually drinking. Yeah, like throw this. Oh, Christ. Throw that and then try and catch it in the other hand. Oh! <laughs> Here you go, catch. You ready? Yeah. You want? Okay, got it. Hey! Don't have to do this when I do it though, look. <laughs> <laughs> you seem so far away. These are honestly, I don't even know if I'm in focus. I don't even know where I am. Right, Alfie. See you later. See you later, mate. The Abby R8 challenge. Yeah. Driving home with drunk goggles no, on. I get pulled over, like, look, I'm not even drunk, I'm just wearing these goggles. What did you get done for that? Of course Could you would. Yeah. Misbehaving. Should I try and run to the kitchen from here? This is a bad idea. Oh my god, I feel like Tom Thumb. It's a magical world. Jesus, it does make you feel a little bit sick. I feel like a zombie from Resident Evil. I think that's a chair. I can hear fire. This is like VR. Oh, this is horrible. It makes the TV look bigger though. This smells like ski lodge. Yeah, hey. Oh, smoke's coming in the room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go oh, bloody... Bloody bear grills. Bloody Ray Mears. Didn't even use a protective hand cloth. Otherwise known as a glove. Protective <laughs> Protective. <laughs> Otherwise known as a glove. Here you go, on your head. What is it? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, right? Imagine you go to a ski shop and you think that's, you buy them off eBay. You think they're ski goggles. You get on the yeah, slopes on that, you're like, like my mum's first time skiing. I'm like, yeah, mum, these are what everyone wears. Yeah, it's what you have to like, wear. Oh, no, this is hard. That's what they're for. Oh, I tell you what, oh, though. Oh no, fire's gone out. What? You had one job, Alfie. What did I tell you to? Your job was to look after the fire. What are you doing? Um. <laughs> is this is this meant to happen? Those vape vines. Look. <laughs> That's not good. Should I just open it? Call 99999, not 911. That's, <laughs> 911. That'll take what? America. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, Alfie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think this is a great time for me to leave. So, uh, good luck, good luck with that. <laughs> See you soon. Um, Alfie. <laughs> is, uh, is that supposed to happen? I think I went a bit overboard. Jesus Christ. I can feel the heat from here. My eyebrows are burning off. So, we just sat by the fire. The cozy fire, that was the, I promise that was the sofa, not my ass. Alfie's watching you. Just fart. No, I did, it's, look, listen. It's my leg on the. Can't do it again. This is a real fart. There you go. Have one of them. That was real. Um, that was a bit wet. It was actually. I'm gonna go home and change my trousers. That one. Alfie got me one of these today. Not the watch. He got me this uh, bracelet, which is actually, believe it or not, from Nando's, and they're they're a charity bracelet to help combat malaria, wasn't it? Yeah. Malaria. And this this bracelet. I read it. This bracelet. The two little red beads symbolise two lives that have been saved from paying for the bracelet, if that makes sense. Which I thought was really cool. Well, very, very cool idea, Nando's. Um, good on you for doing that. Um, so if you're in Nando's, you see one of these. You're right down there. Calling an awful ruckus. Alfie just fall off the sofa. If you're in Nando's, I highly recommend you go and get one. And you can look as cool as, cool as I, and also help um, stop people from getting malaria. Alfie went and bought one of these. It looks like a lollipop, but it's not, look. It like extends, it like flicks it out. It's like a lizard, it's like a chameleon's tongue. You know that's really so good to just piss Ollie off. Oh mate, it's amazing, look. Let's say, let's say for example, oh Joe, pass the biscuits, all right. <laughs> you want a biscuit, Alfie? Come right up. Here I mate, oh. Don't worry, I will get it. You're gonna pass them to me? Yeah, all right. Oh, no, I got, I got it, I got it. It's got to get in that little gap down there. <laughs> there you are, man. Oh, you want me They're all crushed. There's a crop. <laughs> Do you want some music? Yeah. All right, coming right up. <laughs> nah, it's not working. You want a foot massage? <laughs> How are you missing my... <laughs> it's actually... When you're closer, it's actually a lot harder. <laughs> I actually can't get him. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a great toy. Oh, I nearly caught, caught him. He's practicing. He's watched a few videos on how to do, what was it called? A thumb, thumb chuck. 
He's the pro, look. <laughs> right, see ya, mate. I'm heading back. Get that away from me. See ya, mate. <laughs> Try and go for that bit of your knee that's exposed, ready? One shot. Your words are JLS. You only get one shot. F missed. Is that, dude? Ciao, Heading bro. off. I'll probably see you tomorrow at some point. Actually, yeah, I will. I've just realised we're having Christmas Day together tomorrow. We're technically having three Christmases together this year. Are we eating Christmas food tomorrow? No. Is that the next it's day? It's not going to be a roasty kind of dinner. How the blood? What the hell's happened here? How do I get out? You're locked in. There's two doors. God. Classic Wiltshire, that is. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Oh, it looks creepy out here, dude. Scary weather. But look, this car right here makes it all better again. Oh, my feet are so wet now. Are you me? <laughs> Alfie thinks I'm gone. I'm getting drunk as well. Oh, he's seen me. He's seen me already. He's seen me already. I just said to my camera, I don't trust him. He's going to be outside hiding. The light came on, it blew my cover. Frickin' light. Grr. See you later, mate. You yeah, I'm actually going this time. There he is, ladies. Look at the wrong window. Look at the wrong window. Oh! <laughs> Alright, mate. Uh. <laughs> Run! Time to go home. And see you on the Faza. And I'm back in the room that I was in no, pretty much like two days ago. Hi room. As you can see, I've got this lovely little little windbreaker on. Check me out. I'm looking all cool. I say I went Christmas shopping today, which I did. I've, I've got presents now for my nan, granddad and mother. As I'm seeing them tomorrow, but I'm also having Christmas dinner here. I found out earlier on, tomorrow I'm going to see my mum, nan and granddad um, and that side of the family. Then I'm coming back here for like another like pre-Christmas dinner, Christmas dinner here. But it's going to be bang as a mash rather than a full Christmas dinner because uh, it's for essentially all people that are going to be there on Christmas day. But we're also having uh, Zoe and Alfie there because they're not going to be there on actual Christmas day. Does that make sense? Have I just really confused you? I don't know. I've confused myself. I need to lie down and go to bed. I also treated myself to obviously this, this coat. Because the thing is right, in South Africa, it, despite it being summer, it does get quite windy so I got myself a little windbreaker and that's why also footwear wise I got a new pair of vans um, inside here I really like these they're more of like a tan color I'm feeling them I'm digging them big time and the good thing is I don't even have to try them on I just know my size in vans now but it's got like the white tongue on it the white laces I just think that's a cool all-round shoe that's gonna that's gonna last the entirety of South Africa I hope so but before I call it a night of course it's time to unwrap day 19's present tiny little one we all remember Good things come in small packages. That's what my teachers always told me. So I didn't feel so bad that I was shorter than all the other kids at school. I'm pretty sure it was on my year 11 leavers quote thing in the yearbook. Okay, not gonna lie. This looks slightly worrying. It looks like a, a test tube of some sort. What the hell is that? Um, there's no gallium. May cause skin irritation. Uh, is this supposed to be in there? Have I been given drugs on day 19 of Vlogmas? I'm very confused. Um, okay, I've googled it and it came with a, a, a glove. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just too tired to try it today, but I promise you I will try it in tomorrow's vlog. I've just googled it. I've just googled what it is. It's some sort of metal in the periodic table that's non-toxic, although I don't trust it. Why are they giving me a glove that's non-toxic? Um, and it can melt cans. It can melt aluminum or for us Brits uh, aluminium sounds very interesting sounds quite cool we're gonna try that tomorrow so you don't want to miss tomorrow's vlog trust me <laughs> but I'm gonna call it a night there um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you did you know what to do hit that subscribe button that's the thumbs up one subscribe thumbs up leave a comment link to Suglef merch down in the description link the book down in the description and I will see you tomorrow with day 20. I'm still like a day ahead of everyone else but I will see you tomorrow day 20 the home straight of vlogmas but remember I'm not a daily vlogmasher.